Hi, I'm Patrick Peltier, Eldorado School Librarian, and today I'm going to read you a different kind of book. This book is called Stamped for Kids, and it's brought to us by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi, adapted by Sonia Cherry Paul and Rochelle Baker. This is a book that teaches us how to talk about race. It teaches us the history of racism and how racism got started in America. To me, this is a very important book for all of us to read. So I hope this is important to you too, and I hope this is the kind of book that you're eager to hear. It starts with a foreword, talking about race. Dear reader, you may be wondering, what is this book exactly? Because you're used to reading fictional stories, fairy tales, fantasies about heroes and monsters, or sleepy stories about funny talking times way before any of you were born. You've probably read several nonfiction books too, books about the solar system, cool animals like wolverines, historical events such as the Revolutionary War, and biographies of trailblazers like Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, or Martin Luther King Jr. When you've read books about people and events from the past, you may have thought, what does this have to do with my life today? Well, this book includes the past and is directly connected to our lives as we live them right this minute. As you read this book, you'll come across lots of people. You may already know about some of them, but this book may make you think about them in a whole new way. In fact, you may even look at your own life differently. See, this is a present book. Not like a birthday present book, but like an everyday present book. Or maybe just an everyday book. A book about the here and now. A book that can help you understand, for example, what the Black Lives Matter movement today is all about. A book that can help you to better understand where we are in this moment as Americans and how we got here, especially when it comes to race. Uh-oh, the R word. You may have been told not to talk about race, or maybe you feel like you can't, as if it's some kind of a bad word. But it's not. It shouldn't be. It can't be. So let's just take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Breathe out. Race. See? Not so bad. We'll continue to take time to pause, to breathe and feel, and unpause as you read, think, and talk about race. Besides, talking about race is one of the most important skills you can learn. Think about the coolest thing you can do. Being able to talk about race is that times two. And three times as important. Here's why. Until we learn to talk about race, the poison of racism won't go away. As you read and think about race, also think about rope. Sometimes rope can be a lifeline. It helps climbers safely move upward and protects them from falling. Sometimes rope can be a weapon. It can be used to control and cause harm. Rope can also join people and things together in powerful ways. Like jumping double dutch brings all your friends together in the summer. Or like a swing connected to a playset or the branch of a tree that makes you sky high. Rope can be used to tie, pull, hold, and lift. How do people become tied to racist and anti-racist ideas? Who are the people pulling at each end? How do racist ideas hold people down? How do anti-racist ideas lift people up? How did things get so tangled in the first place? And who are all the people working to unravel this mess? As you hold on to the image of rope, also keep three words in mind. Three words to describe the people we'll be exploring and the ideas they're tied to. Segregationist, assimilationist, and anti-racist. These are various serious words with serious definitions, but I'm going to give you mine. Segregationists are haters like real haters, people who hate you for not being like them. Assimilationists are people who like you only if you act like them, and then there are anti-racists. They love you because you are you. These aren't just words we'll be using to describe the people in this book. Remember, this is more than just a past book, it's a present book, an everyday book. So these are words we'll be using to describe who you and me and all of us are every day. Along the way, you'll notice that people aren't always just one way. They can believe in and express any one of these three ideas, sometimes all in the same sentence. Also, and most important, people can change. I repeat, people can change. 
Since the beginning of the United States of America, there have been different ideas about what freedom means and who freedom is for. These differing ideas have always been connected to race. This book is meant to take you on a race journey from there to now with some people you just may think of as new heroes, anti-racists who help us see ourselves, who love you because you are you. One last thing. Something you'll see in this book is that all stories have points of view. And in these pages, you'll hear my voice taking you on this journey. But I want to be clear, this is not a book of my opinions. This is a book about America and about you. This book is full of truth. It's packed with the absolutely true facts of the choices people made over hundreds of years to get us where we are today. The choices people are still making. So remember as you read that you're part of writing the next chapter. The choices you make, the words you use, the way you look at yourself and those around you, they all matter. You matter. I hope you believe that the world can be good, that things can change, and that knowing this history can help us move toward a better, more honest future every day.